Hey, what's up guys? So, um, I just watched uh, Oski's video about uh, the Grub Aero Rescue thing uh, and I uh, thought about uh, what I used to do uh, in the past when I had the problem so uh, I just want to show you guys Super Grub Disk uh, 1.98 um, Linux download so actually, before you will get the the grub error rescue thingy, you'll download this. Obviously, when uh, it's already happening, it's too late. Obviously, so before you get that error, you will download this super grub disk. Whee! Okay, uh, it will be an ISO. So I'll try to download. Do this with my left hand. And right there, you'll see the super grub disk uh, ISO file okay it's right here I burned it super grub disk okay right here super grub disk so uh, what I will do now is close this and I'll just show you how uh, how it works okay so I'll put this in the drive and I will Restart. Here we go. Okay. We're just waiting. There it is. Compact logo. Okay, welcome to Super Grub. Or to Grub, actually. We'll just wait. And right here you'll see it says detect any OS, detect any Grub 2 configuration. File uh, grub cfg uh, detect any grub2 installation even if MBR is overwritten. Uh, detect loop bootable ISOs. Enable grub2's LVM support, a RAID support, and a PATA support. Uh, USB support. Enable serial terminals and list devices partitions so uh, as you can see this is the uh, GNU grub version 1.98 and uh, so uh, the easiest way here is actually to uh, detect any OS so I'll just do that and right here we see Windows Vista boot MGR so I'll take the bottom one here press enter Okay, and right here we'll see uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 and Ubuntu because I use uh, Windows 7 and Vista for work, for school. Uh, Ubuntu, and I'll take the top one here. Okay, we are with the uh, login screen. And there you go. We have Ubuntu. So uh, this is actually not a way to fix it. Um, this is just a way to get into your operating system so you can fix it from there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Uh, please, thumbs up. Yeah, bye.